Bailey, you ready to go? All right, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Um, this week hasn't gone as planned. We were supposed to leave yesterday to go get loaded. You guys on social media, it's all about the wash, the wash ran. So I had to bring everything over here, catch up on a couple things. So some stuff I did do while I was at home, I uh, mounted my cinematic balancers. I don't know if you can see it down in the middle down there. So uh, I pulled the wheels off, mounted my cinematic balancers. I have, uh, I do recommend those. I've had those. I actually have a set for the trailer, but just ran out of time for the trailer. Uh, I just got done putting on the new Dorsey mud flaps. Those are pretty cool looking. So I got the American flag with the Dorsey logo. That's pretty cool. So I put those on. Let's see, oh, somebody recommended cutting a little gash there just in case I bump a curb. So I did that on all those. So just in case it happens, I might bump a curb. Um, changed the oil. Did a service on the little generator. I got that in good shape. What else? Oh, put the cinematic balancers on the front too. On the front axle. Let's see if you can see them. That's the cinematic balancer right there. That just helps. That just helps. All right, so next project we're working on is uh, my uh, air pressure has been acting a little weird. So I bought a new air governor. This is a new air governor right here. They're cheap. I guess it was $20, $22. And it will mount right like that right there. Air governor, what this does is it turns the air compressor on and off. Or the air compressor is always running because it's connected to the motor. But what this does is it, t it lets the air fill up the tanks. So once uh, it's full, it'll bypass. So we're going to put this on real quick. I've already kind of loosened. All right, so we got the old one off here. See what that looks like. So we got to take the new one. Hang on one second. So the new one will come with plugs. So we got to move these. And then also we got to put these plugs in. So the new one has plugs. And then I think, yeah. So we'll have to put a plug in that one right there too. Pretty simple. We'll clean this up. I got a new gasket for this. I'll clean that up, make it look good. It does look like it's been on there for a while. So, but that's uh, that's what the hole looks like right there. I'll clean that uh, hole up real quick. All right, we got everything cleaned up right there. We got our plugs in copied the old one got a fitting on and then we got one more fitting it's gonna go in the middle right there but we can't put that on until we get the bolts in there got a little bit of high temperature anti-seize on the bolts there so now we put it on don't forget the little gasket one right there
That feels about right. That feels about right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn this this way. That hose goes there. Like that. Alright, I gotta get the piece that goes in there. Tighten those up. There we go. I have to be careful of my own strength that I don't break anything. Nope. what it looks like installed these things are super easy to put on as long as you can get these bolts out <laughs> this these bolts were what made me nervous uh sometimes they rest up inside there but uh that went good all right we'll crank it up build up some air pressure and see how it does all right so we got the truck running this is the air pressure gauge primary and secondary It'll build up all the way to 120, and then you'll hear it pop, and it'll kick in at 100. That's all up here. So, I'm going to open the door here. You'll hear it pop here in a second. There, you heard it pop. So that's the air dryer pop. So we hit 120 pounds. So it's doing what it's supposed to, and then we'll build the air pressure back down. So we're at 90 pounds. It's supposed to kick in at 100. Idle it back up. So you see it starting to build up air pressure again. So that governor set at 100, it'll kick on at 100 and turn off at 120. And when you're going down the road, you're always using air pressure because the suspension is going up and down and it's using air. So it'll always go up and down while you're going down the road. We'll let it get to 120. I'm gonna open the door again and you'll hear it pop. What you hear is the air dryer popping. You hear it? So it's at 120. Okay, that was an easy fix. I was really worried about them nuts and bolts, but uh, they came out pretty good and I put a little mini seats. So like I said, it's Tuesday. I got a lot done around the house. Maybe we'll go to the house soon. All right, you guys have heard me talk about the wash. This is the wash. Most of the year it's dry, it's just a dry riverbed. In the monsoon season, the water runs. We've had an extremely wet monsoon season this year, which is a good thing. We get excited about the rain in Arizona. But this will fill up with water and you can see where the level is right there. I'm very lucky. I got a neighbor who has a bigger tractor than mine and he comes out here and straightens the wash out. We got rain last night, it didn't run, but the night before it ran and we weren't, I didn't really think it was gonna rain. 
And to get my truck through, I go through those gates right there so I can get kind of a running start straight. But uh, when you guys hear me talk about the wash. Now, we might get some more, more rain the rest of this year, but it probably won't run too much. We're at the end of the monsoon season. So part of my honey-do list while I was home was to mow the field. And we only mow it. Well, this is the first time I mowed it this year. I don't know if we'll mow it again, but I don't cut it real short because uh, the little bit of grass does help keep the dust down. By winter time, it'll all be dead. It'll be pretty much dirt out here. Pretty good year. We didn't get too many tumbleweeds. I don't know if you guys see the train in the distance there. And then on the other side of the train, if you look, if it shows up. That's where I-10 is. So that was another part of my honeydew list. Did the property, there's the house there. All right, we'll go up to the gate. I'll show you my next project. All right. All right, so another project that I did when I was home, I had to fix the gate. I don't know if you can see where it was dragging on the ground. So this old gate has been here about 20 something years. It's getting a little saggy, but I had to fix that pretty easy. Just raise it up on the pole there. Uh, the dogs don't come out into this part of the yard and we don't get too many dogs to come up under the fence. So it doesn't look too bad. So that was another one of my projects that I did. Here's our firewood. I got to go get another load of firewood for this winter. That one's bandit. That's Bandit. And there's Bailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Callie's inside. This is my poor little workshop. Look at a little bit of everything. I got table saw out today because I had to cut that little slot in the in the uh, mud flaps. Made a dump run yesterday. Took the old Ford out. She's holding up good. I uh, I had to use so I got, I got some tires. Those are 24.5 tall, 22.5 tall, and 22.5 tall. Those are gonna go. Those tires there. They were the steer tires on the orange truck before I got the alignment done and they got a funny pattern on them. These are gonna go on that 2013. Those are gonna go on the 2013. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I had to buy one inch airline for my air compressor because remember I told you I put the cinematics on. Well, I finally got to use my big impact gun right here so i finally got to use that i've had that thing for a couple years now never got to use it finally got to use that that worked out good believe it or not i did clean up my little storage shed still got my skateboards but still got a collection of generators i think i'm gonna get rid of these But I think I heard Teresa out. There she is. There's hey, <laughs> Just walking around showing them what all I did on my honey-do list.